Hello and welcome. You're watching the Tov Jewish News Channel. My name is Michael Vilensky, and my guest today is Yoni Ben Menahem, an expert on the Middle East, an expert on the Arab culture, and an expert on everything that is going on in our region. Yoni, great to have you in our digital studio. Thank you for having me. How come uh, Israel withdrew, uh, is, now, is now withdrawing from the northern Gaza Strip? And we see uh, Hamas sprouting back in the areas that Israel receded from. Is that what we're seeing? Yes, yes, this is very unfortunate. If, we, if you saw today, uh, this morning, there were a few terror a rockets attack from the north of Gaza. From the north of Gaza, and also the day, be, uh, and also yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, and this is very alarming because uh, uh, the IDF uh, announced that they uh, uh, if they took control over the north of Gaza Strip, uh, and uh, now they are uh, withdrawing forces. Not, of course, not all the fo all of the forces, but they are uh, withdrawing the forces. Actually, they withdrew a whole division from uh, the north of Gaza in order for the uh, soldiers to have a rest uh, because they will be coming back to the Gaza Strip after they, they take the rest in order to keep uh, fighting. Uh, so this is a question here. Why, why did the army, why is the army is doing that? Because uh, as we see, uh, the uh, rockets attacks from uh, uh, the north of Gaza uh, towards the Israeli settlements and uh, Israeli cities they continue. And not only that, uh, uh, the uh, civilian apparatus of Hamas, uh, I'm talking about the local police of Hamas, uh, uh, the local municipality of Hamas uh, in the north of Gaza uh, has recovered uh, and they are functioning. Uh, there were pictures on the uh, television uh, of uh, uh, Hamas policemen were walking in the market of Jabalia, uh, and there were other uh, uh, people who work in the Hamas administration on camera saying, no, Hamas is still powerful here uh, in the north of Gaza, and the Israeli army uh, did not be, uh, defeat us, and it will never defeat us, because we have a big infrastructure, not only a military infra infrastructure, but also a civilian infrastructure in the north of Gaza. And from what I hear from Palestinians, the uh, uh, Hamas leadership, military leadership headed by Yichia Sinwar, they transfer hundreds of rockets every day to the north of Gaza through the tunnels, under the ground, through the tunnels. And uh, the, while the IDF is still fighting there in the north of Gaza, they are launching the rockets. So I think that the best thing to do is the, to order uh, this division of the IDF to go back to Gaza, and we have to do it right now. And uh, I don't care about the, what the Americans are saying, what the international community is saying. If we will not stop this uh, phenomenon now, we will regret it because it, it will be like we didn't do anything for three months. Uh, and uh, we have to stop it now. No, don't let uh, Hamas recover uh, from what happened uh, during the last uh, 100 days since the, the war started. Yoni, I want to ask you a last question for our interview. There are many people who propose uh, using the Islamic religion against the terrorists. And what I mean by that is using some forbidden things in Islam, for example, such as pork, as pork fat, to, for example, smother bullets in pork fat to deter terrorism. I want to ask you as an expert on the Middle East, on Islam and all, all of that, you know, field of knowledge. Is that something that you think will work? This will not work. It will never work. Uh, this idea is an old idea, very old idea that was already proposed in the second intifada in 2000, when there were a lot of uh, uh, suicide attacks. Uh, and there were suggestions uh, to the Shin Bei, to the Shabak, uh, to bury the terrorists, as those who commit suicide attacks, to bury them uh, wrapped up uh, with the skin of a, of a, of a pig, of a pork. Uh, and this will deter them because uh, uh, they will not get, go to heaven because this is uh, forbidden in Islam. Of course, it didn't work, it, and it will never work, it will not deter them. The, 
Uh, and uh, also, I don't think that there is any government in the world uh, who is willing to take this uh, act uh, because this will con consider something anti-Islam uh, and uh, will will raise a lot of protest in the in the Muslim world. Uh, so I don't think that any anyone wants to to deal with it. This was an old idea that never worked and it will never work in the future. Yoni Ben Menachem, thank you very much for your insight and your expertise. Always great to have you on our channel. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you also to all of our viewers that saw this interview. Please don't forget to subscribe to us on all of our social media platforms and especially here on YouTube. Thank you and have a great day.